Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. This morning we've come up to uh, Lily Bluff Overlook parking area and I'm going to go down a trail uh, that I haven't really hiked fully. It's called the Lily Bridge Trail. So we're going to head right on down the path here towards the overlook and meet up with that trail. And that should take us down to the lower parking lot that I have parked at before. In fact, I've parked there many times. And uh, this here is something I've been wanting to do. Uh, and look at this upper part of Melton Branch, uh, the creek that makes the waterfalls down here. So we're going to get on down the trail here and meet up with the Lily Bridge Trail. You'll have to excuse me a little bit today. Uh, I woke up this morning with uh, what I call a little bit of a sinus problem. And uh, in the wintertime, it seems to get a little worse for me. We have gas heat in our house, so it's a little bit dry in there. So it's 23 degrees out here this morning, a little bit cold. We're hoping to see some ice. Uh, I brought the Nikon Z6 II. Uh, that's pretty much my camera now. And uh, I've got the 14 to 30 the 24 to 70, and the 70 to 200, 2.8 S lens. And also brought a 50 millimeter with me. We got a little photography project going on with the photography after hours group. And uh, we've got to get some uh, 50 millimeter shots. And uh, I'm gonna try to get a few of those for that meeting, which comes up this Thursday. So this trail right here we're on is what they call the overlook trail. It goes out to a really nice overlook with a big boardwalk around it. And it's a pretty easy trail. In fact, I would say it's real easy. It's flat. Uh, you can almost drive a golf cart out here or uh, it's baby strollers and stuff, I guess make their way out here with families and stuff. So it's a real flat trail till you get to the overlook. Then the other trails that go off of that, they change a little bit and they become more like a hiking trail. So the rangers have a lot of programs out here. They do their uh, dark sky events with their telescopes, things like that. So in about, I don't know, two tenths of a mile, you come to a trail intersection. And I'm going to show you the sign right here. We're going to the bridge trail, which is straight ahead, but the point trail goes to the right right here. And uh, it's, a, it's about a three mile trail, I believe. I'll have to look at my numbers on that. But uh, it's, it's a pretty trail, I've been on it before. But what I haven't been on is the bridge trail. And that's the one we're going on today. And so we meet another intersection right here. And it says the bridge trail is to the right, so that's the way we're gonna go. If you go straight ahead, I'll show you right here, you'll get to the boardwalk. I'm also just take you on out there and show you that. <clears throat> like I said, this is a pretty easy trail out here to this boardwalk. We're gonna walk out here and I'll show you the overlook. It's really pretty. Real pretty in the fall. Colors are really vibrant up here. At the Obed Wild and Scenic River National Park System. As everybody knows who watches the channel, this is one of my favorite places to come. It's about 25 minutes from my house, so it's not very far. That sun's bright this morning. And they got a little sign here that talks about the night sky, the dark sky stuff. We'll walk right out here. A little icy this morning. This is a Trex deck. That's that fake wood. I don't know what kind of traction you get on it. But you can see the frost. And here's one of the overlooks right here. Like I said, that sun's pretty bright this morning. Pretty big deck. 
goes wrong all along this bluff wall. So we're gonna head on back to the bridge trail and hike on down to the lower part. Like I said, I've not done this before. I've been wanting to do it to see what it looks like down through there. See if there's any photographic opportunities. So stay tuned. Well, I came down the bridge trail just a little ways and there was a, a social trail that went off to the right. I decided to take that and see where it led to. And it went down through this boulder field and it connected over back that way to the point trail. It's not very far. So it's like a little connector trail that runs between these two. Uh, I'm sure this is a social trail. It's not an official trail, but anyways, we stopped back there and used the 50 millimeter to take some pictures of some icicles on a rock trying to get a sunburst in the picture. Well, this 50 millimeter S 1.8 will only go down to F 16. And um, I thought it would go farther than that, but I'm gonna have to check on that when I get home. Anyway, we're gonna continue on down the bridge trail and head down towards the waterfalls. We're gonna move on down, put on the 14 to 30, and go to the bottom of the waterfall down there. The uh, sunlight was in on the falls on the right-hand side, but it's starting to go behind the trees up here. So uh, it should be pretty good by the time I get down that and, and get down by the plunge pool. So we're down here at the base of uh, Upper Mountain Branch Falls, and we've got the circular polarizer and a uh, six-stop neutral density filter on the front of the lens using the 14 to 30 f4 and our exposure is going to be about 25 seconds at f9 like i said in the beginning of the video it was 24 degrees this morning you can see the icicle hanging from the branches and from the log that's in the water this was a 25 second exposure Sometimes I like to do these longer exposures. I put the circular polarizer on the front along with the uh, ND6 filter. I came down below the lower falls into the spillway to get some photographs right over here. And uh, I used the 50 millimeter. I also used the 70 to 200. And I've used the 14 to 30. I'll probably show some comparison shots uh, in the video. Just never know what you'll find below the waterfalls if you go looking. And this photograph was taken with the 50 millimeter 1.8 S Z mount lens at F11 for 1.6 seconds. And I just threw this in there as a comparison using the 70 to 200. The lens was set at 70 millimeters for 1.6 seconds and it had a circular polarizer on the front of it. So you can kind of see how sharp the 70 to 200 Z mount lens is. Okay, uh, I walked upstream from the main waterfall, the upper waterfall, and I found this composition right here. And I've never been up here before to look at this. I'm gonna take a few photographs right here and see what it looks like. We're set up here, uh, I'm using the 24 to 70 now, F4. We're about 60 millimeters on the focal length, one third of a stop. I'm sorry, not one third of a stop. One third shutter speed, F11. Take one shot here and look at it. And this was the 14 to 30 millimeter lens at 25 millimeters in uh, 0 0.8 seconds. It just had a circular polarizer on there. This area here uh, is worth exploring even more. I was quite pleased with both of these shots. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today down here at uh, Obed Wild and Scenic River. Found some new compositions today. Took some more photographs. 
go home and see what they look like and put this video together and get it posted. Till next time, we'll see you. Bye-bye.